the small town. Before so many employers went virtual, it seemed almost impossible to live in one, but now our options are open. Today I'm sharing my 10 favorite small towns in North Carolina. There are towns with mountains and valleys, rivers and beaches. Number nine is the real Mayberry from The Andy Griffith Show, but all of them are dripping with small town charm. Saluda, North Carolina is where the foothills end and the Blue Ridge Mountains begin. Saluda is a small town near the South Carolina border, about 40 minutes south of Asheville, North Carolina, and 45 minutes north of Spartanburg, South Carolina, with a population of only 891 people. There are beautiful winding roads throughout Saluda, which attracts many tourists and cyclists. Downtown Saluda is quintessential small town USA, full of thriving businesses and restaurants. The first weekend in November, Saluda is host to the Green River Games kayak race. The Green River is known for some of the best whitewater in the entire U.S. Things to do around Saluda include the Gorge Zipline Canopy Tour, hiking the nearby Big Bradley Falls Trail, or attending one of the annual festivals in Saluda, the Saluda Arts Festival, Coon Dog Day Festival, or the Saluda Hometown Christmas Festival. The median home price in Saluda is $259,000 and is expected to rise by 9% in the upcoming year. There is high-speed internet available in Saluda. Pinehurst is a village in the Sand Hills region of North Carolina. In 1895, James Walker Tufts purchased 6,000 acres, called it Tuftstown, and planned to build an affordable health resort. The name was then changed to Pinehurst, and the historic Pinehurst Resort laid its first golf course in 1897. The resort now has nine golf courses, three hotels, a spa, and an extensive sports and leisure facilities, and this resort is the backbone of the Pinehurst community and economy. The majority of Pinehurst Central Village is designated as a National Historic Landmark District. In addition, in addition to the historic resort, Pinehurst is also home to the historic Pinehurst Racetrack. The 111-acre harness track has been a winter training center for standard bred horses since 1915, including 10 champions. The climate and clay training track is great for racehorses, and Pinehurst is known for the horse farms and estates throughout the region. 16,000 residents now call Pinehurst home. The median home price here is $309,000 and expected to rise 8% in the next year. DSL and fiber internet are available in Pinehurst. Beaufort was ranked as America's coolest small town by Budget Travel Magazine. Beaufort is located in North Carolina's Inner Banks region and is home to the Duke University Marine Laboratory and the NOAA Center for Coastal Fisheries and Habitat Research. Beaufort is known for the many events that take place throughout the year, such as the Community Thanksgiving Feast and the National Boat Building Challenge. have some great restaurants, bars, and breweries in the beautiful waterfront historic downtown. You can meet the local farmers and fishermen that gather weekly at the old Beaufort Farmers Market in the historic Courthouse Square. Maybe I've been watching a little bit too much Masterpiece Theater, but visions of Captain Poldark racing his horse across the beaches of Cornwall heading into town, um, okay, maybe it's not that historic. But there are wild horses on the beaches, although you do have to take a ferry to get to them. Beaufort is home to 4,300 people. The median home price is 254000 expected to rise 8% in the next year. If you need high-speed internet for work, Beaufort might not be the best fit. Hendersonville is a small town about 22 miles south of Asheville. If you love the idea of living in the mountains but want the culture and cost of living in a small town, Hendersonville might be your place. Hendersonville has quite a bit of entertainment for such a small town. There are several museums in town, an aquarium, an air museum, a children's museum, and a mineral museum. You guys know how I love a historic downtown and Hendersonville has a beautiful one. This one is really thriving. It's full of great shops and plenty of people downtown visiting them. There are a ton of independent independently owned restaurants. Look at these places. They have German food, fried chicken and donuts. You can't really beat that on a Sunday afternoon. You've also got a lot of wineries and cideries and apple orchards if you like the idea of picking your own apples. Of course, being a mountain town, there are plenty of opportunities for hiking and waterfalls and beautiful views in close proximity to town. The population of Hendersonville is about 14,000. The median home price is 284,000, almost 50,000 lower than nearby Asheville, and prices are expected to rise by 8% this year. There is fiber internet available in Hendersonville. Hillsboro, North Carolina is a small town just outside of the college town of Chapel Hill, home to UNC Chapel Hill. Hillsboro is a pretty artsy town. The Eno River runs right through town, and they've built a river walk to capitalize on that natural beauty within the town. Hillsboro also has a bustling historic downtown. The Wooden Nickel is one of those hangout spots where the locals like to congregate, grab a bite to eat. JT Lee says, every small town should have a pub with the warmth and vibe of the nickel. I did a whole video about Hillsboro. We talked about crime in the area and many of the local activities and green spaces. You can check it out here. 
7,100 people call Hillsboro home. The median home price is 318,000 and it's expected to rise 6% over the next year. Cable, DSL, and fiber internet are all available. Manio. If you need to pair small town charm with a waterfront life, Manio just might be what you're looking for. Manio sits on Roanoke Island. Yes, you have to go over this bridge to get there, and it's famous for being both the birthplace of the first English child to be born in America, Virginia Dare, and for the disappearance of that colony. Remember the lost colony of Roanoke in history class? The population today is just under 2,000. If you were going to visit, you would have to check out the North Carolina Aquarium in Roanoke Island, the Elizabethan Gardens, and the Lost Colony. Colony Outdoor Theater, all less than a 10-minute drive from the waterfront in Manio. In Manio itself, you could spend the day at the Roanoke Island Festival Park with the costumed guides, browse the downtown shops, visit Elizabeth II or the Roanoke Marshes Lighthouse. You could spend the day on the water or maybe even above the water. Minio has the highest concentration of attractions in all of the Outer Banks of North Carolina. If you're living in Manio, you're probably going to do your grocery shopping at the Piggly Wiggly. And the closest target, it's one and a half hours away in Chesapeake, Virginia, which is also the nearest city. The median home price in Manio is around $355,000, expected to rise 7% this year, and DSL is available. Brevard. Maybe you love the water, but you prefer your water mixed with mountains. The town of Brevard in southwest North Carolina might be just what you're looking for. Smaller than its neighbor, Hendersonville, this town of just over 7,800 residents has been nicknamed the land of waterfalls. Daisies blooming, sundress swaying in the breeze. How would you like picnicking here every weekend? On that picnic, you might catch sight of one of Brevard's famous white squirrels, or maybe you just wait until the White Squirrel Festival on Memorial Day. There are over 200 miles of mountain bike trails within Transylvania County. Fishing the local rivers and streams is a popular pastime for locals and visitors. The entrance to Pisgah National Forest and the Art Lobe Trailhead is just a few minutes north of town. Brevard is home to Brevard College and the Brevard Music Center. Of course, it has a quaint old downtown district, complete with local restaurants, a brewery, and a great man-teaks shop. Ladies, your guy might not mind antiquing with you if you take him here. The median home price in Brevard is $258,000, expected to rise by 5% this year, and yes, DSL is available. The closest target is 30 minutes away in Arden. Blowing Rock. So, you want a small town in the mountains, but you want to feel like you're on vacation year-round. Blowing Rock is on your short list. This town of under 1,200 residents is a hub for outdoor adventure, whether it's hiking, biking, golf, whitewater fishing, skiing, or even equestrian events. Because it's a vacation destination for many, and given the close proximity of Appalachian State University and its 20,000 students in nearby Boone, Blowing Rock boasts more amenities than you might expect from such a small town. They have an outlet mall for your name brands and many boutique clothing shops downtown. There is great green space with paved walking trails at Bass Lake just outside downtown. Downtown, as well as the Blowing Rock City Park with playgrounds right inside the downtown. Once you're done shopping, Kilwin's Chocolates will satisfy your sweet tooth. The Tweetsie Railroad theme park is just 10 minutes north of town, and Moses H. Cohn Memorial Park is five minutes west. You can enjoy the historic home, the artisan crafts, or even take a guided horseback ride. Target, the closest one is an hour away in Hickory. The median home price is $595,000 and expected to rise by 8%. Mount Airy. You might not realize it, but you know this town. Mount Airy is believed to be the town modeled after fictional Mayberry from the Andy Griffith Show. Andy Griffith, the star of the show, was born here in Mount Airy. Downtown has some great little shops, and there's a decent amount of tourism here due to the Mayberry moniker. You don't want to miss the Hillbilly Ice Cream Shop. They actually serve moonshine ice cream. You do have to be 21 to enjoy the moonshine varieties, but they have plenty of regular flavors as well as a gluten-free bakery. There are other great restaurants as well as breweries and distilleries to visit. The Ararat River runs along the eastern side of town, and Riverside Park is the trailhead of the greenway that runs along the river. Lovell's Creek is on the other side of town, and the city built another greenway that runs the length of that creek within the city limits. I think this is kind of unusual to have a city greenway system this size in a town like Mount Airy, which is only 10,000 people. Cable and DSL internet are both available in Mount Airy. The average home price is 122000 and expected to rise by 4% this year. Elkin. Elkin is a beautiful little town in the Yadkin Valley. It's about 45 minutes away from the closest city of Winston-Salem. Elkin is famous for its annual festivals. There are wine festivals and pumpkin festivals and the Reefstock Music Festival. Local music is a big deal in Elkin, and the historic Reefs Theater was 
was purchased by local residents in 2013. They restored it and converted it into a modern music hall where locals enjoy weekly live performances. The population of Elkin is about 4,000 residents, the median home price is a mere 139,000 and expected to rise by 4.5% in the next year. Cable and DSL internet are available in Elkin. If you liked this video, you might also like this one about the top cities in North Carolina or Amy's story about how moving from Cleveland to the South changed her life. Thanks for watching, have a great day.